So let's proceed with the purple parts that we have here, which I want to make into a shiny black painted metal. So for the base texture, I'm going to use material type paint, which is already is, and then I'm going to change the color to black. And even though I want this material to be really shiny looking, I'm adding in just a hint of roughness. Um, so we still have uh, some kind of a sharp edge, um, but also just uh, a hint of distortion because in reality, no material is like super extreme, perfect, shiny. There is always some hint of blur to it. Um, so I think I'll go with 0 .0, 0, 0.0, oops, 0 0, 0.007. Nope. Yeah, two zeros. Maybe eight. And this is where it's really useful to have uh, an environment where there's a, a strong difference uh, between the, the darkest areas and the uh, brightest areas because it's here in the transition you really see the actual roughness. Okay, I think this is good for now. And then I am going to add some bump maps to the material. Uh, so I open up the material graph, close the two tabs down I have, and then rearrange the windows like this. And again, I uh, just want to focus on this part for now, so Alt, left click. And center and fit the, the model. Whoops. Alt, Command, right click to, to fit this part. So I know from the beginning I want to add more than one bump map to the material, so I'm going to add in a utility node where I can add two bump maps into. So I right click, go to utilities and select the bump add node. And take the output of that and drag into the input bump. Cool. So the first bump I want to make is by using a procedural texture. I'm going to use the uh, noise texture, and drag that into bump number one and hit C on the keyboard to take a look at the color information. So I just want to add some general bumps like even bumps to give uh, the idea that this paint is not completely flat. There's always some, some small bumps uh, in painted surfaces. Um, I want to bring the, the height down, maybe adjust the scaling. Cool. In cases like this, it's, it's really good to have some reference images, but sadly I don't have one right now. But from the top of my mind, it looks something like this. And again, you see that it's really in the transition between the dark areas and the bright areas and the HDRI that you see this bump map. You can't see it here, you can really see it here, but it's here in the transition that really gives away the attributes of the material. Cool. So for the other bump map, um, I want to add some small holes and dents in the material. And uh, I have a custom map that I created here in the resource folder um, under textures, and it's the one called dents. And you can import it into a Keyshot library, or you can just uh, locate it here in the folder and drag it into the graph. Like so, and then we can add it into the bump. But before doing so, I want to hit C on the keyboard and check the, the color information. And you can see it's black, but it has these white spots. Um, I might want to adjust the scaling to something like this, and then I'll drag it into the bump channel. The reason why I checked it out before dragging it in is because now I can't see the, the color information, but if I hit B on the keyboard, I will get this in a normal view, but sometimes the bumps are too small to, to be really visible in this view. So yeah, depends on the, on the texture, but that's just a trick that you can always remove the connection and view the color information and then connect it afterwards. All right. 
Um, so right now the the white parts or the white spots are coming out of the surface and I want them to, to get inward. So I type in negative 0.5. Let's do negative 0.3. And yeah, I remember my head is in the way now. So um, let me just drag it up. Cool. Like this. Point, negative 0.03. I think that looks good. And uh, yeah, let's try and show uh, show all the parts. Zoom out. Let it rest just a few seconds. Cool. I really like it. I think. Whoops. Sorry about that. I think I want to add a bit more roughness. So point zero one. That's really good. Cool. Um, and since I started setting up this uh, this model, I realized that uh, these yellow greenish parts that we have right here actually have the same material. So I'm going to copy it by Alt left clicking and Alt right clicking. Cool. We are getting close to being done with the materials. We have the uh, this hot shiny plastic parts left, and we have the screws left. And also, I, I realized that we have these these uh, parts here, but I think I'm going to use the same materials on the screws than that on these parts as well. So let's proceed. <laughs> 